Hey everybody, Glenn here with another episode of Deviation Sports Cards. Uh, today I was going to just do a little video to talk about some of the recent changes with uh, CSG. So on Friday they made a big announcement uh, that they were going to be changing their labels. You know, this is the old label. They're going to be changing it to a new label and upgrading, I shouldn't say upgrading, updating uh, their grading service. Um, so basically, you know, this is what the new uh, slab is going to look like. Uh, overall, I, I don't mind the new one. I guess the green one kind of grew on me. I didn't really mind it either. Uh, but some of the big things are changing, obviously, is they've gone to the Gem Mint 10, uh, which I am not a huge fan of. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but it, it's okay. I mean, they went with more. I mean, basically, if you look at their new uh, grading scale, they're pretty much like SGC now, um, which is okay. I mean, I like SGC's grading scale better than PSA. I just think PSA's is way too broad with the absence of a 9.5. Um, so overall, you know, the new label, I'm indifferent about. As I said, the green one kind of grew on me, but this one's black. Uh, I like the font. It looks pretty clean. You know, a lot of people are kind of complaining about the barcode here on the front uh, or like the little holograph up here in the top, which, I, again, I really don't mind. Uh, one other big thing they did change was they got rid of subgrades, uh, which I am not a fan of. I wish they would have stuck with subgrades. I really think that would have made them, you know, a little bit more unique. I mean, right now you've got uh, BS or BGS that's, you know, got the, the subgrades uh but they don't have a gem 10 and then you've got psa that obviously you know doesn't have half grades or subgrades and then you've got sgc that does have half grades but um it doesn't have subs so i think csg could have kind of taken advantage of that and said okay well we'll be the only ones that have like the sgc style um grading scale but then we also offer subgrades they would be the only one that would do that i think that might have uh set them aside a little bit and also i don't know satisfied those of us that like the subgrades uh but overall they said that only about 20 percent of the people that submitted cards to them actually selected subgrades uh so that was the reason that they decided to get rid of them uh which i would you know, kind of argue, you know, it says right here, you know, fewer than 20% of submitters were requesting subgrades. Uh, so the demand something was not there. I, you know, I, I think that's a bit of a, I don't know. I, is it 20% of submitters were requesting subgrades because they don't like subgrades or 20% of submitters not requesting subgrades because they were charging 10 extra dollars for them on a $12 grading service for bulk. And it seems to me like the, more probable answer is people didn't feel like spending almost double uh, from a grading fee perspective to get the subgrades more than they didn't want them. Uh, but neither here nor there, I can live with the new label, I can live with the fact they don't have subgrades. What I am having a little bit of heartache about is I, I think their transition plan and their scoring is a little bit weird. So if, if you look at their new, so this is the old CSG uh, grading criteria for a 10 pristine, a gem mint 9.5, and a mint 9. And I put side by side the new gem mint 10 and the new mint plus 9.5 definitions. Now that big problem that I'm having with these definitions right now is if you look at the pristine 10 definition and then you look at the gem mint 10 definition, the only thing they actually changed was, you know, here it says a Gem Mint 10 is a card that has received a 10 grade overall. However, one of the grading criteria does not meet the requirements of a perfect 10. Whereas over here, it says uh, Pristine 10 is a card that has received a 10 grade overall, just like the Gem Mint 10, with three 10 subgrades and one 9.5 subgrade. So they kind of took out the subgrade portion of it and then just put, however, one of the grading criteria does not meet the requirements of a perfect 10 which still would kind of indicate one sub doesn't meet it. Uh, the other thing that they changed was it says corners will appear perfect to the naked eye and mint plus under 10 times magnification. Whereas over here it says corners will appear perfect to the naked eye and gem mint 
under 10 times magnification. Now, technically, it says the same thing. It both means 9.5. The difference is, you know, this is a gem mint now and this is a mint plus. So, uh, you know, it doesn't really differentiate itself a lot from what a pristine 10 is, which overall, I guess I, I could be okay with. The problem that I'm having is they're saying anybody that has a current gem mint 9.5 will automatically translate over into a gem mint 10. Well, if I look at the criteria for a gem mint 9.5, it does not match the criteria required for a gem mint 10. Uh, obviously, this can have more than uh, one grading criteria not meeting a perfect 10. In this case, you can have upwards of all four grading criteria not meeting a perfect 10. So I the definitions that they give here do not support this becoming this. You know, I think this definition here should be some kind of hybrid of the old 9.5 and the old pristine because that's technically what this category is. So I really think they need to work on this definition a little bit. Furthermore, to that point, if you look at the Mint 9.5 definition, it is exactly the same as the gem mint 9.5 definition, which adds even more confusion to the definitions. I mean, how can a gem mint 9.5 have the same exact definition as a mint plus 9.5, but be upgraded to a gem mint 10, which has a completely different, different definition than the old gem mint 9.5. So you kind of see the, the cyclical pattern here based on definition any card that got a 9.5 should be a 9.5 mint plus based on definition, but for some reason they're upgrading it to a 10, even though this definition does not match this one, it matches this one for the most part. So I, I think CSG needs to really kind of look at refining the definitions of these instead of just trying to change a few words like they did, because it really does not make sense when moving from this to this at all especially when it comes back to transferring cards. Now, the other problem that I have with this whole thing is that they've kind of gone and uh, done this. Let me get my pictures up here. Here we go. So basically, if we look at this card, this is a Zion Williamson and a LaMelo Ball. So this, if this is the old CSG requirement, you know, we've got three nine five grades and a nine on surface. So what that means is this gem mint nine five, if you send it in, will upgrade to a new gem mint ten. Okay, fine. I don't have any problem with that. The question I have is this particular card is a mint nine. It has two nine five subgrades and two nine subgrades. So the only difference between this card and this card is this has three nine fives and one nine. And this has two nine fives and two nines. So this one upgrades to a 10 gem mint. This one stays a mint nine. Well, if the only difference between these two is one half subgrade, then what the hell is a mint plus nine five? Again, it doesn't make any sense. For some, there's no closer you can get than these two cards right here from a grading perspective and a subgrade perspective, yet one is a 10, one remains a nine. So there is zero room in that for a mint plus nine five. So it's it's really kind of confusing to me. So if I, if I really kind of break that down and look at it, <clears throat> this is kind of what it looks like to me. So basically what you're seeing is, you know, subgrades here. So if, if I was a CSG customer and I bought subgrades for 10 extra dollars on every sub that I put in, essentially if I got a perfect 10 on that card, it will transfer over to a perfect 10 in the new label, fine. If it was a 10 pristine or a 9.5 gem mint, it moves over to a 10 gem mint. Again, I don't really have a problem with that. I wish the definitions were a little bit more clear, but okay, it makes sense, gem mint, gem mint, as long as they could I guess refine those definitions to make it make a little bit more sense. I don't theoretically have an issue with this. I understand what they're doing. You know, most of the people in the hobby, you know, can't wrap their head around the gem mint as a gem mint 
regardless of whether it's a 10 on the label or a 9.5 on the label. So, you know, they're conforming, so to speak, to put that 10 on the label to, to satisfy the masses, which I, I'm okay with. I don't like it. I think the old way was just fine, but clearly I was in the minority on that. Uh, but then the, the, the confusing part then is all these grades then go to a 9. So this is what they're currently saying with their score. So if all of these being a 9.5, 9.5, uh, 9, and a 9, actually this is wrong, this, this 9.5, 9.5, 9, 9 should be down here, not up here, because this would actually equal a 9 overall. Uh, but for the most part, anything, yeah, I've got this screwed up. These, all these three bottom grades here actually would fall into mint. Anything 9.5, 9.5, 9, 5, 9, 5, 9, 5, and 9 or up would be a gem mint 9.5 in the old scale. And so that means anything from this line right here, I got the color coding wrong, from this line all the way up would end up being a transferring into a gem mint. Anything from this line down would end up becoming a nine. Now, new grading, so what I'm suggesting, you know, I, I always say if you're gonna complain about something, why don't you submit a, a counter proposal? So what I'm trying to say is, where is the mint plus in all of this? And the answer is, you know, in this model, even though I've got this shifted down, it should the line should come across right here. Uh, it still doesn't change the fact that an old gem mint 9.5 becomes a 10 and an old mint 9 becomes a new mint 9 and there's no 9.5 anywhere. In the new model, I'm suggesting that why don't they do something like this, where you have anything from this line over stays gem mint just like current but instead of having these three sets of grades become stay a mint nine why couldn't they be transferable over to a 9.5 mint plus that way there's actually some definition for a 9.5 mint plus and the reason i say this is because i, I think it's a little shoddy on csg's part to leave this out i mean myself in particular i do not have any cards so just to quantify that I have zero cards in my collection that would qualify even if they were to add a range like this uh, all of my cards are either good enough nine fives that they would become tens or bad enough nines that they would stay nines so this doesn't impact me at all the only reason I'm bringing it up is because it, by definition and then also by the way they're transferring grades over there is no such thing as a 9.5 mint plus and their definitions on the new scale are more in tune with a gem mint 10 being like a pristine 10 and a new 9.5 mint plus being like an old gem mint 9.5 so it doesn't make any sense and i think you know only 20 percent of the people actually got subgrades according to their numbers but those 20 percent of the people or 20% of the cards graded, I should say, paid an extra $10 per card to get subgrades on them. And now what you're saying is basically they mean nothing. If you had a 9.5, just like if anybody else has a 9.5 with no subs, send it in for a new label, get your Gem Mint 10, or if it's a 9, get your 9. So, but I gotta pay you five extra dollars to do that. So now I've spent $10 for subs that mean nothing. Somehow, none of these combinations of subgrades yield a 9.5 mint plus which makes absolutely zero sense and i just think it's kind of shoddy i mean people that didn't get subs i uh, get it okay a nine's a nine a nine five's a ten but people that did get subs why don't you throw them a little bone and say hey since you paid extra for these subs we're going to allow based on criteria not just for you know shits and giggles but based on definition and change the definition, please, that some of the existing cards with subgrades would actually qualify for a 9.5 mint plus. So pretty much the only people that could transfer a card to a 9.5 mint plus would be those individuals that have some qualifying criteria met with subgrades and only with subgrades. If you didn't get subgrades, sorry about your luck, it's transferring to a 10 or a nine. There's no such thing as a nine five mint plus for you. But if you did get subs and you paid that extra money, throw them a bone and say, hey, 
we're going to allow a certain percentage or a certain score combinations to transfer over to a 95 mint plus because at least then you know on this new scale just like with you know SGC's current scale the difference between a 9 and a 95 for SGC from a value perspective is pretty significant same as a 95 to a 10 so at least the people that paid for subs have potential to increase the value of their card from a perception standpoint only because the damn card is still the card but you know like i said the way the the market is everybody goes by the number so there's at least some potential benefit there hey my card is maybe worth more now and that justifies the extra money that i paid csg for subgrades that now don't matter um but you know it, it, it kind of is what it is you know I, I you know i put this question out there in the community i've put something on the uh, csg forums and i've also uh you know put stuff on different facebook groups that i'm a part of just trying to get some opinions and maybe you know get enough people behind the idea that you know csg will maybe consider it because i really like i said at this point personally i've got a lot of csg graded cards i will not be sending any of them in for a relabel uh, i do a lot of vintage as anybody that watched my channel knows so i don't i have like maybe five cards with subgrades that i can send in to get upgraded excuse me from a nine five to a ten i have zero cards that even in the proposed uh, transfer grade scale that I have that would actually transfer from a 9 to a 9.5 mint plus. So this is really not for me. Uh, the only thing that I would like to see is just a little more clarification on the new scale. One of the things I love about CSG uh, up to this point is their grading scale is actually very precise. So if you go to uh, PSA, they've got pretty good descriptors of what their um, grading scale is, but they have what I would consider loose requirements, especially for a Gem Mint 10. SGC has pretty decent uh, criteria uh, for anything, I would say, 8 or above. But then once you get below that, you'll notice that like a 4.5, a 5.5, a 6.5, a 7.5, they all just kind of say the lower grade with good eye appeal. So a 7.5 is a, a 7 with good eye appeal. A 6.5 is a 6 with good eye appeal. It's like, well, what the hell does that mean? And, and who's, who's the one making the decision on eye appeal? I mean, what looks good to me might look like shit to somebody else or vice versa. So I, I don't like the whole half grades below a 8.5 are judged based on the grader's eye appeal. It seems really kind of weird to me. Uh, and then BGS, you can't even find their damn scale anywhere anymore. Um, so I really like the fact that CSG is very specific in saying these are the criteria that your card needs to meet to get this grade. And they've muddied the water with this new transition because they did not change the definitions and the transfer plan does not match the definitions that are currently on their website. So like I said, uh, I really just kind of made this to kind of get it out there. Uh, and I'd like to see some conversation, you know, I, I'd like people to comment on it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you think we should just leave it alone and I should stop bitching about it. Uh, like I said, it doesn't impact me one way or the other, I guess, but I think it probably does impact quite a few people. And I think it would be, you know, a nice thing for CSG to do to kind of thank people that paid the extra money for the subs. Uh, you know, they've, they've graded roughly 750,000 cards. You figure 20% of that's roughly 150,000 cards got graded with subs. And, and realistically, probably only, let's say, if they were to take a section of subgrade combinations and say these will transfer to a 9.5 mint plus, you know, that's probably realistically going to be in the 15 to 20% of that total $150,000 range. They're gonna make five bucks on each one of them to, just to make the transfer over, but at least it's kind of throwing a bone to the people that paid the extra money for subs in the first place uh, that want to get their stuff transferred over. And, you know, so anyways, uh, like I said, uh, if you like the content, guys, uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm finally starting to get, you know, some subscribers, which is nice. You know, this is, I think, my 82nd video and I'm, sitting right now at around 160 subscribers so i really appreciate it if you like the content to please give me a like uh and then and a subscribe 
And like I said, leave your comments in the channel. I'm, I'm interested to see what other people in the community think. Uh, you know, tell me if I'm crazy. Tell me if you think it's fair. Or you'd like to see something similar from CSG, or tell me if you just think me and anybody else that might have a problem with it should just shut up and deal with it and enjoy the fact that CSG conformed and has a, a 10 gem mint. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time, and I'll be looking forward to seeing your comments. I'll definitely reply. Have a good one.